What's going on YouTube? It's been a minute. Back with another video. You know, things are crazy right now with all this COVID-19 shit. I need all y'all to stay safe, keep your distance, sanitize your hands, keep sanitizing wipes, wear your mask, wash your hands and your ass. <laughs> It's funny I say that because I don't have my mask, but fuck that mask right now. I'm outside. I'm not worried about that. Anyway, today I want to talk about OnlyFans. It's been a real hot topic over the year and a half, the last year and a half. You know, it's been around for every bit of three to four years. And it's been a real hot money maker. When I got, when it got around to me, I had no choice but to respect it. I've seen porn stars get into it. I've seen amateurs get into it. I've seen regular, everyday people with regular social media accounts join in on it. And also, you know, celebrities and social media sensations, people with a lot of followers. And that's pretty key to having a successful OnlyFans account is having a large following. You know, it's kind of a numbers thing with that shit. Like, if you got thousands of followers, a small percentage of those followers are going to support whatever you do that costs money. You know, whatever you put out as merchandise or content, whatever there's only going to be like a, a, a small percentage of the people that follow you that actually are willing to pay for what it is that you're putting out. So having a lot of followers is definitely key to having a successful OnlyFans account. That's something that I noticed. Um, so not just anybody can just jump up and say, oh, I'm going to get an OnlyFans account just because you've seen somebody that you follow make ten thousand twenty thousand dollars in a in a month it doesn't it just doesn't work that way you got to get your followers up you got to have a large following you know i've been seeing a lot of negative comments from guys about only fans you know guys don't like the fact that it costs money to view these women's content and it's not just women that's on only fans let's be clear about that men and women use only fans men and women do porn content on OnlyFans as well as regular content. They say that it's not all porn, it's not all amateur nudes and stuff. They say that you can also, you know, put out whatever your talent is. As long as you have a following, you know, you can display whatever that is through video and picture. And your following, your fan base is going to follow you and, and pay for that no problem with that but you know guys have a problem with paying for content because you know now you can get porn anywhere for free you go on any little youtube red tube x tube site and pull up whatever porn star you want to and watch it for free the full content and this is what i kind of respected about OnlyFans. you know it gives you the freedom as a content creator to own your content and make the majority of the money instead of being pimped by the porn company because porn company pretty much pays you up front whatever the price is whatever the upfront fee is for you to do that shoot so after that you don't make any more money off of that video they make all the money from the sales and whatever else the memberships and all of that other shit so i respect that that only fans gives you that option to now own your content and get paid the majority of the money as long as people are paying for it you're gonna get paid from it so i respect that um I got lost right now. Uh, I 
you know you own your content so if somebody decides to put your content on a website for free you know you can make your moves to get that removed you know versus being with a porn company they don't care you know your shit can be on every fucking site they won't care you know they're getting their money they don't care if you get yours so that's what I respect you know a lot of guys feel you know that women are too cocky with the money that they make so they also don't want to be the one to make them rich so they're gonna call anybody that supports these women lame you know they're gonna call you lame for paying for content online you know weird they're gonna call you weird and the way I see it as long as porn has been around it's always been paid for whether you had VHS video DVD video you know the website memberships the webcam you know all of that shit there's always somebody that's gonna pay for that so with OnlyFans here they're pretty much bringing that shit back to life so if you're a weirdo that likes to pay for porn and pay for interaction with these girls it's for you and I'm not judging um, you know you shouldn't hate that people are getting paid for this shit it's changing lives OnlyFans is changing lives I cannot hate on that it's changing lives so much that now everybody is having thoughts of doing that shit. It's kind of like how stripping was 10 years ago. It's kind of like how drug dealing was 15, 20 years ago. You know, people see that money, they see that lifestyle, everybody wants to jump in it. You know, it's almost like, you know, <laughs> selling souls, but it is what it is. You know, whoever the person is that created OnlyFans, he is making big bank. I looked him up. I did my homework. I checked his net worth. I'm not going to release any of that information, but just know there's people who's been in entertainment for over 20 years, and he's already surpassed them in net worth. So shout out to him. You know, but with this OnlyFans thing, I have a membership on a couple of women's pages. I paid for one. It was like $13 for 90 days. It's not bad. I'm not losing anything, $13 for 90 days. But, and I'm also not really consuming my time so much with OnlyFans. I, I, I paid for it and I basically checked it out, got the rundown on it, and here I am giving it to you, you know. So, it's kind of like a club entry fee. You know, you have some that'll let you in for free, some will let you in for $5, $20, $30, $50, $60, whatever. Entry fee. Membership entry fee. Now, with that entry fee, don't expect to walk into the club and just get all of the services for free. You still gotta pay for your drinks, you still gotta pay for that section, you know, if it's a strip club, you have to pay for those dances and whatever else, you know. So OnlyFans is the same concept. You get, you pay the entry fee, you know, they'll have a little something for free, a little something for sample, but the good stuff, they're going to make you pay for it. There's a, a separate fee for every, pretty much every video. You know, these, this shit is the ultimate finesse. Oh, ultimate finesse. Shout out to the girls for, for coming up with this concept. You know, everybody's not smart enough to do that, but the majority of them are. And once they start linking up with the girls who are successful, that's going to be the game. You know, you get in, you pay for your separate content. You know, they have videos, they got pictures, they got lives. You know, some have meetups, some have... Um, what do you call that shit? Facebook, FaceTime section, sessions, FaceTime sessions, where you can do a video call and you know y'all do y'all little phone sex thing, you know, for feet, of course. You know, some would do a personal webcam, a personal video for you, for feet. 
you know, and you can inbox and have conversation with them. So, you know, that's pretty much the breakdown of it. You know, it's kind of like if you ever had a, a Snapchat account, you know, there were girls who had premium Snapchats. You pay a membership and they unlock the page and you get to watch their little videos or whatever. It's pretty much the same thing. So that's my view on OnlyFans. I have no problem with it. I respect it. I see it for what it is. Good hustle. Get it while it lasts, you know. And I'll be back with another video at some point. I'm not sure when, but, you know, I'll check with you.